Hey, what's up? Alex here. I went to the Singapore IT show last Friday and I want to take this chance to showcase some of the smart home tech that's going to be available this year. For my overseas viewers, let you catch a glimpse of our IT fair here in Singapore that runs once every quarter. So sit back and enjoy this one. A point to note is that this video is totally not sponsored by any of these companies. First up, let's look at some of the cleaning tech. We have Dreamy's new robot vacuum models, the X30 Ultra and the X30 Master this year. The X30 Master is what caught my attention more because it features a super compact base station. Look at the dimension and how small this is versus the L20 that I reviewed last year. A push of a button to automatically open up like a drawer to access the dust bag. So technically, you can hide this under your washing machine or kitchen sink as you don't need an opening on top anymore. I will definitely do a review of this robot vacuum in my next video, so stay tuned. The X30 is more of their flagship model. Design-wise, it went back to the L10S look. Note that both of these robot vacuums allow you to hook up to your water source. But the main selling point this time should be this main brush that's able to cut through those entangled hair, reducing the maintenance effort required. Another robot vacuum brand that's here is Eureka. I first heard of this brand late last year and I saw other creators feature their products during CES this year. So I'm pretty interested to see how they compare with the top brands. They do have some unique selling points in their products. For example, this auto dust empty station that's not using a dust bag. I know many people will be interested in this. Ever since Roborock S7 Plus, I don't see something like this anymore. They also have those all-in-one base station. The robot itself has a very different type of mopping system. Maybe this one will have an even better cleaning performance than the spinning mop pads. At the Tinaco booth, one of my favorite brands when it comes to wet dry vacuums, I covered their products way before they are even popular here in Singapore. What caught my attention is this Pure One vacuum that has the auto empty feature. The bin for this is like super big, probably able to hold like months of dust depending on how frequently you use it. Another cool feature is for pets that shed a lot of fur. They have this brush attachment that you could use it to brush your pet directly and the tool also allow the vacuum to easily suck away the fur that's stuck on the brush. And of course, you will always find their flagship wet dry vacuum here. The S7 now comes in a set with a stick vacuum whereby the moto is interchangeable between the two. And here's a look of the size of the clean and dirty water tank. One of the most interesting appliances I encountered in this IT show is this integrated dishwasher from Fotal. It comes attached together with the kitchen sink, a press of a button to open the lid, and the size of this looks just nice for a couple or small families. I really like this because it's space saving, not sacrificing tabletop space, and not taking up much kitchen storage space as compared to those traditional standalone dishwashers. Definitely something I will consider for my next house. They also have a very futuristic looking hood that comes with some cool smart features such as detecting your hand motion to switch on or off the hood. There is smoke detection and sound detection to automatically adjust the fan speed and suction power. Look at how this is able to hold up these product catalogs. Simply incredible. Philips Hue did not have any new products in this IT show but they promised me second half of this year definitely there will be new products coming in and one of them I know will be the TV backlight for a 65 inch TV. Anyway, they do have some discount promos running if you are planning to get their products. Going to the Hisense booth, I was hoping to see the 110 UX that I remembered Linus Tech Tips covered in one of its videos during CES 2024. Too bad we don't really get all the latest interesting stuff over here but we do have the 100 inch mini LED TV here at a price of $8,000. Honestly, I think this price is actually okay for this size with a free sound bar and subwoofer. There is something even bigger and that's the L9H 120 inch cinema TV at $1,000 more but between TV and projector, I would rather go for TV. Next, for smart locks, Easier has a new gate lock that's able to do facial recognition, palm recognition, or simply pin code to unlock the gate and do synchronized unlock to your main door lock. So for most HDB apartments, if you are looking for these two features in your smart lock, this actually makes a lot of sense to have the facial recognition on the gate lock instead. For those that watch my smart door lock comparison video will know that I have lock-in locks placed as my number one. Here are some of their newer models. It seems like they are quite interested in the Singapore HDB market as they even came up with a gate lock model. So this also supports synchronized unlock with some of their door locks. 
This year, I will probably do an update video on all these new smart digital door locks. One of the hottest products in this ID show is these automated smart laundry systems. About 5 years ago, I only know the brand Stegen here in Singapore, but now they are like so much competition. Like this rack from a company called Remote Hub that comes with extra long air panels from one end to the other end, giving a more distributed air flows. The next hottest product I realized in this ID show are ceiling fans. More importantly, smart ceiling fans. This particular fan from Haiku caught my attention because it has sensors built in. So whenever it detects there is somebody near the fan, it will then switch it on. If nobody, then it will switch it off. I'm not sure whether the sensor is a normal PRR motion sensor or a presence sensor which will be far more reliable. The Haiku Big S fans has their own app integration with Home Assistant and I heard it's working very well. Most of the other smart fans I saw are based on Tuya. At the smart water filter dispenser section, I check out the upcoming new models from Living Care. Look at how small and slick this is. Right now, these are just prototypes and they told me that they are doing a poll to see which design most of the people prefer. The result of the poll will determine which design they will release in the second half of this year. So what do you all think? Personally, I like this grey one more, looks easier to maintain. Right beside is the Hydro Flux booth and right away I spotted my water dispenser but in this stunning white colour now. Honestly, this looks so good in the white kitchen team. They told me this is currently a limited edition and only for pre-order. So what are you waiting for? If you are looking for Tuya based devices, you definitely have to check out Mover. They have now expanded with so many interesting switches, panel controls and also a Zigbee gateway with IR capability to reduce the number of devices lying around. All sorts of IP camera options including indoor and outdoor, especially for those staying in landed properties. They recently released this energy saving kit which comprises of a humidity sensor with IR together with a presence sensor. But the differentiator comes when you subscribe with their Tuya energy saving plan to use AI to help you save energy. Now in Singapore, you can also see more Akara products around with a huge booth here versus like 5 years ago where you hardly see any of them. The Agra device that I'm looking forward to test out this year is their M3 hub which is metal certified and double as the border router. The new T1 M ceiling light is also here and these Z1 Pro switches that I featured in my last video. Most of the people are familiar with e-light selling smart lighting products but they actually do have quite a good range of switches and sensors devices as well. Looks like they also do support smart home systems like Crestron and Control 4. I have to find a chance to test out some of these. If you are looking to customize your smart down lights, there is this company called Flexify Concept that's able to provide such services. Regardless of which brands like Philips Hue, E-Light or the Tuya ones, they will be able to pick the design, the shape, the color, the size to fit them all. If you are interested to set up a smart home based on Home Assistant but finds it too complicated to get started with, I came across this company called Auto Life Tech that's able to help you. If you like to have these beautiful dashboard controls or complex automation rules, they are really very good at it and they definitely know their stuff. Actually, Home Assistant can do more than just controlling your smart home. For example, it is able to integrate with bus services to update you when the next bus is coming, map services, traffic conditions and a lot more. Besides Home Assistant, if you're looking for something basic with Google Home or Apple HomeKit, they do as well so definitely can check them out. Okay, one last bonus item I want to share here is this new leather chair from Hinomi. So if you know me, I always prefer fabric or leather material chairs instead of mesh. They call this chair the Commander, very unique design. All the support is in leather, including their trademark pull-out leg rest. I briefly tested this for a while. I'm usually not a headrest guy but this feels like a very good neck rest for me and it's really super comfortable. The leg rest is also now adjustable to keep the legs in a more relaxed position. Alright, that's all from me. Hopefully one day I can make a trip down to Vegas for CES and make a video like this to share with everyone. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.